I am out of office. So today we're gonna to be testing and reviewing and doing an all day wear test on the brand new Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. Now this just recently launched and I couldn't wait to test it out on our mature skin. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today I am so excited to test out this brand new foundation from Makeup by Mario. Now this just recently launched and I couldn't wait to test it out on our mature skin. You know I love a good foundation review and we are going to do an all day wear test. I also picked up the brand new Rare Beauty positive light under eye brightener. So without further ado, let's get into the video. How you doing? Oh my goodness. When I popped on to Instagram yesterday, I saw Makeup by Mario just launched his new Surreal Skin Foundation and I knew I couldn't wait to test it out for us. Like I said, this just recently launched. It's sold exclusively through Sephora and it comes in 30 shades. It's supposed to be a breathable, luminous foundation that effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with customizable long wearing coverage. It's supposed to be a natural finish, hydrating, medium coverage, and long wearing. Well, we are definitely going to put it to the test today. I do wanna put a little bit of primer on my complexion just so everything is smooth and blur. And I'm just gonna go in with the Cali Ray So Blown Clean Blurring Primer with Collagen Peptides. It's gonna take a tiny bit amount and I'm just gonna apply it right through the center of my face. This stuff smells so good. I recently featured it in my top five favorite luxury high-end makeup products that are totally worth it. In case you missed it, I'll put it down in the description box below. But this primer is beautiful. All right, so primer is on. Now, while the primer is settling in, I just wanted to read off a couple of the highlighted ingredients in this foundation. It contains grapeseed oil, squalane, it's supposed to provide restoring, moisturizing benefits. Now, I do have normal to dry skin. As you can see, I have a fair amount of melasma. So I'm super excited to test out this natural looking finish. Plus, to put it to the test and do an all day wear test and see how it lasts on my complexion. Now, as you can see, it comes in a very simple glass bottle and, oh, and a pump. Super clean, I like the packaging, it's super sleek, very no, no frills, but that's what I like about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up. Now it says you can use their foundation brush, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna pay 30 bucks for his brush. Sorry, I have enough brushes and I do have my fingertips, which they do suggest using your fingertips. It's medium coverage, but you can definitely build it up. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and check out the consistency and we're gonna do one pump. Oh, I'm so excited. I love doing foundation reviews for mature skin. They, I just live for them. I love finding what works for our skin, but that's just one pump. It's actually kind of thick. It's not going anywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's go ahead and swatch it. Now, like I said, I picked up 5N, which is light with neutral undertones. And let's just think that might work. It might be a hair too light, but I always say go lighter on your foundation instead of darker. That way you can deepen up your skin tone with bronzer, contour, and blush. But I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the center of my face, heating it up with my fingertips. You guys, it has been so cold here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we finally got snow the day after Christmas, but we got snow nonetheless, and it's just everything is so pretty outside, and at least I can justify the cold. But let's go ahead and apply this. I think this is gonna be a good shade match for me. Oh, I really hope I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and take my BK101 foundation brush and just stipple it in. It doesn't have a scent, so yay. Definitely light coverage. Okay, that's like half a pump, not even. Not bad, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest. Now, I think this is his first liquid foundation that he's ever come out with. Leave a comment down below if I'm wrong. I probably am wrong or right, I'm not sure. But I believe this is his first foundation. I'm just gonna stifle it in. I like the fact that it doesn't have a scent. That's really nice. Ooh, that is pretty. And I think we did really good on the shade match. Okay, that is just one pump of the Surreal Skin Foundation. Hopefully it won't settle into my fine lines. But yeah, I think it's very pretty. Do we dare try to build it up? Let's see if we can build it up just a hair more. I'm just gonna add a tiny little pump 
I actually like this pump because you can really control what's coming out. Usually if you do a pump, a lot comes out, but this one seems to have a good control. That's important to me because you don't want to use too much. But yeah, I'm going to see if I can gently and oh so gently build this up. Oh, that's building up nice. Okay, that was just one and a half pumps of the foundation. And I'm gonna turn down my lights so you can see up close and personal what we're dealing with. I don't know if you can tell. You can still see my melasma peeking through. It definitely feels lightweight and comfortable. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It's not settling into my fine lines at this point, but so far I think it looks pretty good. So what I wanna try next is the new Positive Light Under Eye Brightener from Rare Beauty. Now this also just recently launched. It retails for $24 and it comes in six shades. I'm in the shade Light Medium. This under eye brightener is supposed to be lightweight, radiant finish, hydrating, vegan, and it's formulated without parabens. Now you can wear this in several ways. You can wear it alone for a fresh wide awake look. You can layer it over your go-to concealer for an extra brightening effect. You can also apply it to the high points of your face, tops of your cheekbones, brow bone, and temples for a natural glowing look. I'm gonna try it the second way. I'm gonna layer it, I know, scary. I'm gonna layer it over my concealer. And the concealer I'm going to use today is one of my all-time favorites. It's from the drugstore. It's Honest Beauty's Fresh Flex Concealer. And I'm just going to use a tiny bit amount. Generally, I don't like to layer products under my eyes, but I want to test this out. I want to see if it's going to layer on top of my concealer and give my eyes that brightening effect. I'm going to let that marinate. I'm going to go ahead and take the heat of my ring finger and tap that in. Oh, love this concealer. Concealer is on. So now I wanna try this and see how much it's gonna brighten that under eye area. Looks like I didn't get a lot of sleep and I certainly did over the last several days. The holidays have been super hectic. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. I know we did, but yeah, I need some brightening under my eyes. Ooh, this wand tip applicator is very familiar to the one Dominique Cosmetics Wide Awake Concealer. You know I absolutely love that concealer. It has that same metallic wand tip applicator that's supposed to cool and depuff your eyes. It doesn't look like I'm getting much on this product, but here's the wand tip applicator. And it says to place two to four dots to your under eye area, then tap to blend using your fingertip or a brush. So I'm gonna start out with two dots right through here. Oh, it's definitely cooling. It's definitely giving me Dominique Cosmetics Wide Awake Concealer vibes. Oh, I love this cooling effect. Oh, that feels so good. Okay. Let's just add a little bit more. Definitely cooling. Oh, I love the sensation of this. Tap to blend using your fingertip or brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it in. It doesn't feel like concealer. It feels very runny. Honey, it doesn't feel thick whatsoever. Definitely hydrating. I feel like it's brightening up that under eye area. Let's see. Ooh. I do have hit or miss luck with Rare Beauty. I didn't really care for her concealer, but I do love her mascara and her blushes. Her liquid blushes are fantastic, but this, ooh, feels nice. Feels really, really good. I definitely love that one tip applicator. So yeah, this is good. I'm definitely gonna have to test it out when I'm not wearing any sort of makeup to see if it just naturally brightens under my eyes. But yeah, this feels good. My under eye area feels hydrated. My complexion feels pretty good. Not bad. While that is still brewing on my face, I'm gonna go ahead and just set my under eye because I don't want all the products under my eye area to settle into my fine lines. And just setting under that eye area right through here. Under eye area is set. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Wow, this foundation is super pretty. It does look very natural. Okay, now that we have our complexion products on, I definitely wanna see how the Surreal Foundation is going to play with cream products. And I'm just gonna go in with my absolute favorite cream bronzer. It's from Revolution, of course. I love this bronzer because it's super hydrating and you just so easy to tap on. And I just wanna see if it's going to play well with that foundation. I wanna see if it lifts up or anything like that. I'm gonna take a brush and just blend that in. So far, so good. Okay, okay, pretty good. 
And for blush, I'm just gonna go in with Sunset Kiss from Sigma. This is a beautiful corally peach blush that doesn't add any texture to my mature skin. I'm just gonna tap a little bit right through here. Wanna keep the focus on the complexion and on the foundation. But this blush is just so pretty. Just adds just the right amount of pop to my cheeks. Okay, complexion products are on. Everything feels great. Everything feels lightweight and comfortable. I like the finish of the foundation. I like the brightening effect from the Rare Beauty Positive Light Under Eye Brightener. But what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Here we are with the final look. I just did a super simple eyeshadow look with of course the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. I've been absolutely loving this neutral eyeshadow palette. And I figured since I was testing out his foundation, my as well use his eyeshadow palette. And then for lips, I went in with his lipstick in the shade Jessie. I've forgotten how good this lipstick really is. I love it. It's so smooth and creamy and hydrating on the lips. And I love this like neutral color, but we are here to judge the foundation. It worked extremely well with the cream bronzer. It worked fantastic with the blush. And for highlighter, I just added a touch and just a tiny touch of the Merit Cream Highlighter in the shade Bounce. It didn't lift up the foundation. It looks really smooth and glowy and pretty. But remember, this is supposed to have a natural finish, hydrating, long wearing. And we are definitely gonna put it to the test. It's about 11 a.m. and I will do some check-ins and let you know how it's going. But I think this look is super pretty, but is it gonna last all day? And also, it is not supposed to oxidize. It's supposed to stay true to the shade. And so far, the shade looks pretty good on my skin. Remember, I am in the shade 5N, which is light neutral. I think it's a really nice match, and I just hope it doesn't oxidize, and I hope it does live up to its claims of being long wearing. But yep, here we are with the final look. What do you think? And be sure to watch till the end to see if this is really good for our mature skin. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. <laughs> okay, woo. We are back. It's been a really long day. It's been eight hours since I first applied the new Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. And I have to tell you, it's one of those foundations that gets better by the hour. Uh, I took a peek at my skin about five hours in. Oh, that room, <laughs> that rhymes. And I was like, whoa, my skin looks so dewy, so fresh. I think through the course of the day, as my natural oils mixed in with the foundation, it just made it look so dewy, so fresh. And I do have to say the coverage is light to medium. I mean, you can build it up, but you can still see my melasma peeking through, but it's, oh, cat hair. <laughs> it still looks dewy, fresh, and very pretty. I did not do any touch-ups whatsoever all day, even with my lipstick. I was really impressed with this lipstick. Why don't I wear this anymore? I have to say, it's very pretty. Now, remember, I'm in the shade 5N, which is light with neutral undertones. It retails for $42. It's actually made in the USA. So if you're looking for a light to medium buildable coverage that has a natural finish, and you've never tried Makeup by Mario's products before, this is actually a beautiful foundation. It's not gonna give you full coverage, in my opinion. And I think my melasma spots are really the true test. I mean, you can still see them peeking through. But as far as being skin-like and hydrating and lightweight and comfortable, this does check all the boxes. Now, would I say this is my all-time favorite foundation? I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna continue to test this out and give you a more informed decision. I was just super excited that it just released at Sephora and I quite like it. As far as the Rare Beauty Positive Light Under Eye Brightener. I think it's pretty too. I do want to test that out a little bit further, especially on just bare under eyes to see if it will naturally brighten that under eye area. It did not settle under my eyes. It did brighten it quite a bit. And I love the metallic wand tip applicator. It was super chill on my skin and you can feel it instantly cool that under eye area. For me to layer it on top of my regular concealer and not settle into my fine lines, super impressed with this. So what do you think? Are you thinking about picking up the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation? I mean, it had me at the name, Surreal Skin, because I really feel like it's very skin-like, it's very smoothing. The coverage is perfect light to medium coverage. It is long-lasting, it, it does feel hydrating. Remember, it does have the grapeseed oil as well as the squalene. So yeah, this is gonna be a good foundation for the wintertime, I think. 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and letting me test out this foundation and under eye brightener. I had so much fun. You know I love testing out foundations and seeing if it works for our mature skin. And this one is actually quite good. But in my next upcoming videos, I have a new drugstore foundation that I can't wait to test with you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. And in case you wanna hang out a little bit longer and check out some more foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist right over there. But for now, mwah, mahal kita, I love you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye.